This little gencast will walk you through how to use Adobe Illustrator and Flex together to build components. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop into Adobe Illustrator and we're going to go ahead and create a new uh, document. So we'll go File New from Template, which is the Flex Skins. We go into Components here and we'll just choose a button skin. And you can see right here I've got a button with up, over, down, disabled states, the four different states we have with the typical button. Um, these are all symbols. If I double click on them, I can go into symbol editing view. I'm going to zoom in on this document a little bit here. You'll notice that there's a scale 9, slice 9 guides that are set up right here. And what you might want to do is you might want to pop over into your symbol properties. Let me back out of this button right here. Select the symbol. And we'll come up to the symbols panel here. It should click on the symbol options. You notice it says it's a movie clip. The registration is in the upper left hand corner, which is definitely recommended. And it says enable guides for, for nine slice scaling. So you always want to make sure that's checked off when you're doing a, a flex button. So what you would do is you'd actually just go in and edit these, these files, uh, modify the skins however you wanted to do, and then save them out. Um, I've actually prepared a, a button right here that's already got some skins put into it. You can see you just modified those uh, states to taste. And the next thing you want to do is once you've got it in the state, you save your document, give it a name, and then you want to come over and you want to do File, Scripts, Flex Skins, and you want to choose to export a Flex 3 skin. The vulgar button. Just save. Okay, it's been exported. Next, what you want to do is you want to pop into Flex Builder, and you'll come over into the test area. Excuse me, you'll come over and start a new project. Uh, I've got a project open here. I'm going to actually go ahead and choose to do File, Import. I will choose the Flex Builder, then Artwork. Choose Next. Uh, I want to choose a SWIC or a SWIFT file. Let's browse for it. And I'm going to choose to copy the artwork to a subfolder, put it in the assets folder there. I will choose next. You can see there's the four states that we're importing. I'll choose finish. Okay, and what happened is it created the CSS file over here in the project and it's created a bunch of different states in it. Now if I pop over into the design view on the CSS file, I can also do things like alter the font colors. So let's say maybe you want white in our normal upstate and we'll do a little bit darker maybe for the downstate let's just pop over and get her down to something like that looks pretty good to me choose to save that and close that CSS file here's the default application You'll notice it automatically in the default application in this project created the imported this uh, CSS file. So I'm going to go ahead back into Design View. I'm just going to scroll down here to the button. Just grab a regular ordinary flex button. I'm just going to drop that. Size my document again. It's time to put the button right right about here. And I'm going to say I want to constrain it. And now, what I want to do is, I want to save that, and I want to debug it. And you can see I've got a button, just like that. Alright, that's all there is to it.